guys, so welcome to week 27. Uh, this week I've got three more songs for you. The first of which is a song called Red Red Wine. Uh, UB40 from Birmingham were very famous for playing this. Um, I'm from Birmingham originally, so I thought it'd be, uh, it'd be fun to show you this song. So I'll play it for you first and then show you what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, that was a condensed version, by the way. It is longer than that. Um, so I've broken it down into sections for you, and I've also changed the key of it, uh, just, just in case there's quite a few of you that might have acoustic guitars. Um, I was thinking about this last week, that actually it's really hard to get further up the neck. So the original song is much further up the neck, but we're not going to do that. Um, I've moved it back to a down in fifth fret, so it should be accessible to all. Um, so first up, for section one, you're going to play an A major bar chord. So you're going to bar your fifth fret, every string, put your middle finger on the sixth fret third string, your third finger on the seventh fret fifth string, and your little finger on the seventh fret fourth string. You're strumming all the strings. Okay, but what we're actually going to do is a reggae technique. Now, um, as I've said over the last few videos, if you find this technique tricky, just strum the chords normally, and maybe even just one to get used to them, okay? If you want to try the reggae technique out, we're going to strum from the first string up. Don't mind, really, if you don't hit your fourth string, fifth or sixth. As long as you hit those trebly strings, and then we're bouncing our fingers off the, the, the actual strings themselves. So you're going to play from the first string up, lift your hand up so it's still touching the strings, but, um, but you're not pressing down. So this would be how it, what it would sound like. Okay, just twice. Strumming on those off beats. One, off, one, off. Okay. Next, we're going to a chord that we've done quite a few times um, over the last twenty-seven weeks. So uh, it's a D bar chord. So we're going to bar your fifth fret from the fifth string down, and you can choose to either flatten your third finger over the seventh fret fourth string down. Um, like I'm doing in the play along video, um, or you can put your middle finger on the seventh fret fourth string, third finger on the seventh fret third string, and your little finger on the seventh fret second string. Bye, fifth fret. Okay, play the strumming up from the first string like that. Twice. Okay, see, so I'm going to play it the way I prefer to, so we'll end it with. Then go over to your seventh fret. Firing your seventh fret, that is, from the fifth string down. You're using the same bar chord shape where you did uh, your D. This is an E chord. You can either use your third finger to bar from the ninth fret, fourth string down, or do, do the same shape that you played with your D chord. Okay, so that'd be ninth fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, and ninth fret, second string with your barred seventh fret. So we'd end up with. And then you're going to go back to D for two. So we've got A, D, E, D. Again. Again. Okay, so that's three times around that sequence. And then we're going to go back to your E. We're going to go. Four strums. If you're using the same shape I'm using, by the way, I'd strum it up from the second string to the fourth string. Back to D for two. And E for two. So 
So that last part goes E to four. D for two. E for two. Okay. That is section one. I'll just play the whole thing for you. So, obviously, I've just gone through that fairly quickly because um, really we're limited on time with these videos because uh, my camera actually stops working after 11 minutes and I know that I've kind of run over with a few where I've had to switch back and forth from camera to camera. So, um, basically, um, I'd like you to slow that down or practice it slowly. Um, take time with it, pause the video here. That's section one. I know this technique's fairly tricky. If you feel more comfortable to just strum the chords and have fun playing along to the song, then you just have to go. And, 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 and that would be three times. And then to E, two, three, four, D, two, E, two. Okay, so feel free to do either one of those. I'd like it if you did try your reggae strumming. No worries if right now that's a little bit too much to, to do. All right, so section two goes like this. Okay, so you're using the same three chords, they're just cycled in a different order for a different amount of time. So we're starting with the E, okay, like this. Four strums, then to A for four. D for four. A for four. So you're be, just to repeat that, E for four. A for four, D for four, A for four. Then we're going to go back to your E for four, A, D for four, and then E for four. Okay, so I will play the whole of section two for you one more time. So we've got E, A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D, E. And that takes you back to section one. The parts are all labelled in the video, in the play along video that is, so you can follow them a little bit more clearly. I would just pause this video and practice those parts separately. Strum the chords and let them ring out if you, if you want to, you know, if you don't want to do your uh, reggae strumming, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so those are your parts. Once you've mastered them, come and join me in the play along. Maybe even check out the play along before you, you actually attempt to play the parts for this lesson so you know what you've, you've got coming up. All right, guys, have a great week, and I'll see you next time.